my gosh. What are you doing? Look what she did. She pulled out the basket. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hey, what do you have to say for yourself? And that is dangerous and it's most likely full of germs. I am so sorry, but you can't have that. Hey, what do you have to say for yourself? Are you proud of yourself? Did you make a mess? Hey, did you make a mess? She doesn't want to give me any eye contact. <laughs> Allie, did you make a mess? What did you do? Look at all this. All her, all her little goodies that I had in the basket, she knocked it down. We're going to have to rethink and reorganize this whole system because, uh, yeah, she can now pull all that out. We cannot turn our backs for a second because this is what happens. You guys saw it here first. This is today's outfit of the day. And I just have a floral um, bodysuit with some high-waisted jeans and the boots and a sweater because it's a little bit chilly. And I also have on my Gucci belt. So, yep, that's basically it. This is Allison's uh, outfit of the day. I got her dressed up in that little outfit. Yeah. And she looks like a little angel. Right, baby? Let me put you down. Let me see if I can stand you up. Hey, Allie. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is such a pretty shirt. Uh, my makeup for today is very simple. I actually don't have any eyeliner on at all. Just a little bit of eyeshadow and mascara. That's it. So, if I look unusual, it's because of that. Alright, we'll see you guys later. So I just came back from Walmart and I hauled a few things for the baby and a few things for myself. So I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. So I'm just going to lay the tripod right here. And let's see. I guess I'll cover that light. Okay. I got a new set of bottles for the baby and this is the Dr. Brown's Natural Flow and this is pretty much like a gift set. Um, it has two small bottles, two big bottles and then like a sippy trainer bottle and then it has extra nipples. Um, the bottles that she's currently using, I use the Event bottles which has the wide um, mouth and the wide nipples um, and she really likes those but she's been using it since birth and I wanted to change it up for her and just give her something different so I bought this. This was $25 at Walmart and let me show you what they look like. These are the bottles that I got for her and they're pink so they're very pretty and I got two of these um, eight ounces and then I got two of the four ounces and then there's one that has a sippy cup nipple kind of deal <laughs> and it has a handle like a little gummy grip so that you can it's like a sleeve you put it the bottle in and the baby kind of goes like that so I got her that set. Um, I did try the Dr. Brown's when she was um, a lot smaller, like a newborn, and she really didn't um, respond well to it. Plus, the bottle kept leaking on me. Um, and I made sure that I would never bring it uh, too much, but somehow it just kept leaking. So I just got fed up and I returned it, but I'm giving them another try now, and I hope that she likes it as well. So I'm excited to start trying these. So I'm just going to put all this back for her. And I have to sterilize these. So I'm just going to leave them here to the side because I have to wash them and sterilize them. All right, let's see. I also picked up some draft beads. And this goes in her wash cycle. I do still have her draft uh, baby detergent. But I also use like a cap full of these beads just so that her clothes and her laundry can smell just a little bit more potent with the baby smell so i got this i actually got two of these because these sell out really fast at walmart so these are only like seven dollars and i got two of them and they smell like baby heaven <laughs> all right i also got a snuggle one for our laundry so i got these beads um and i picked up suavitel this is a fabric softener um 
this one is in the scent vanilla this smells really good so I got this for like our blankets and the kids blankets and sweaters and stuff so and that goes in the rinse cycle this goes in the wash cycle this is not like a fabric softener so what else did I get? So I got two different kind of the Baby Dove Tip to Toe Wash. I got the Rich Moisture uh, for the really cold air and the weather. Now when the baby, you know, when we all get dry skin, I don't want the baby's skin to um, get dry. She has really, really soft skin. So her skin, she has no eczema. So we are blessed in that department, thank God, because um, my 11-year-old, he had eczema and he had food allergies and he was always itchy and with patches in his elbows behind his knees even in his neck so uh, we went through a lot with him as far as his skin being he still suffers from dry skin today so till this day i mean and with the baby so far i haven't noticed that she has um, dry skin but i'm just making sure that i keep her skin nice and moisturized so i haven't used the baby dove products yet but i am so excited to use this because i've heard so many great um reviews on this and um i'm excited to try the night the nighttime one which is like a lavender smell it's a chamomile and warm milk calming scent. She really responds well to the Baby Magic one, which is the one I've been using for like the past month. I only bathe her like twice a week because I don't want her to get sick or anything like that. Plus, she doesn't really get dirty. And yeah, I do clean her hands often uh, with baby wipes and I clean her face and obviously her diaper area. Um, she has had a few blowouts <laughs> in her diaper uh, that has required for me to run to the sink. And, you know, my husband helps me and we kind of give her a um a little spray down and we take her a quick bath there but i don't consider that a bath i i usually when i take her a bath i um i fill her little tub up with like the soap so i can make bubbles and i let her play with the water and i just allow her to like sit there for a good 10 to 15 minutes and before i soap her up and take her out so anyway this i opened it at the store and it smells really good so i'm excited to use this and yeah let me see they didn't have the lotion um, in the nighttime one, which is the calming scent. But I did get the original one, the Rich Moisture. I got the wash and I also got the Rich Moisture lotion. So hopefully this will keep her skin nice and supple um, through these, you know, dry, cold winter months. So I am... I still have some from Noodle and Boo, and I still have my Baby Magic. I actually still have some Johnson & Johnson stuff and some Aveeno stuff, but I'm gonna try these because, I don't know, now for the, um, for the winter, like I said, I wanna make sure her skin is extra, extra protected and extra moisturized, so I'm excited to try that out. Okay, so this, I bought an extra bottle. This is by Parents' Choice, it was like a dollar. I bought the extra bottle. I'm gonna leave this in the car for like emergencies because, you know, I like to be prepared. So I'm gonna wash this, sterilize it, dry it up and keep it in the car. Um, I also bought, let me see if I can find it. I also bought um, some Pedialyte. They have, um, what are these called? They have the powder that you can put in in bottled water and these have a two year expiration date. So I'm going to keep a couple of these in the car, an extra bottle and a pack of pacifiers because sometimes when we go out, she either loses um, something or, you know, we can't ever find it. So I'm going to keep it in a little like in a little caddy bag. Did that make sense? So I got the Parents' Choice, um, just the silicone pacifiers. So I got this, an extra bottle, some Pedialyte packets, and I also got something else. I got some pacifier wipes. This is by Parents' Choice. It's like fruit flavored wipes that you can clean the pacifiers. It's, uh, it says no harsh chemicals and food grade ingredients non-toxic and on the go clean so this is again to clean her pacifiers they do fall on the floor or you know whatever so i'll keep this in a little caddy in the bag i also bought allison this cute little this is a shirt but i'm and this is a 2t so obviously it's big on her but i'm thinking i could use this like a little dress for her <laughs> I could use it for, as a little dress and I um, found some tights so I got some this 
with some black tights and she does have her gold um, boots so I cannot wait to put this outfit on her this was five dollars like 448 and this was like four dollars so I got her the size six to 18 months in the tights and these come in white also and then I got her a 2t on this the only thing that concerns me is maybe um her, the sleeves might be a little bit too long but I could always roll them up and if the neck is too um big I'll just take it in a little bit I know how to sew so yeah I thought this was very cute I can't wait to put this on her I found these little t-shirts or these are toddler tanks these are like little tank tops and I bought them in a size 2 to 3t um because for when she gets a little bit bigger uh these are just i don't know if you can see they're just little tanks um that little girls wear like under their clothes or like to go to sleep so i thought this was a good idea they don't have this all the time so when i see certain things that i know i don't see all the time i usually grab it and save it for a later day because this is good to have i love those and with that being said i bought a pack of um toddler crew t-shirts and let me show you what they look like regular t-shirts and this is in the size two two to three t the reason i bought this is for allison's bedtime her pajamas are a little restricting i would say and it's not that they're small on her it's just that they make the pajamas to be very very fitted and sometimes you know they get to allison gets too hot and she starts crying and she's you know oh, um i don't know she's just very uncomfortable so I got her this because I remember my other kids as they were growing and if they would sleep, you know, um, we would put them in little t oversized t-shirts. In her case, this would be oversized because uh, she's a baby, but it's not too big where she'll drown in it and, you know, all that stuff. But it just fits her loose so that she can be comfortable. It's cotton so that if she sweats, it'll absorb, um, it'll absorb it and, you know, she'll just be comfortable. There won't be anything restricting. So I got her this. It's a pack of five and she can sleep in a t-shirt a pamper and some socks so she'll be comfortable <laughs> oh and i think this is the last thing i got for allison i got her a pack of hanes super soft low cut socks she has a lot of socks no i think our dryer is like shrinking everything because if she uses it once i clean it i dry it and it's like it's you know i have to stop drying her clothes so long but anyway i got her a bigger size and i also got her the ones that have the little um what do you call these the little grippy things on the bottom so that she, when she's in the walker she, she can be able to move because of the grippy things she's not just sliding and stuff like that so this was a pretty good deal it was like eight dollars and this is a pack of ten a pack of ten and they come in all types of pretty colors and stripes pink gray mint all these cute colors that i like so that is basically everything that i got i also picked up some of these um plum organics and just gerber organic uh baby foods these are the ones that you just unscrew and you can feed it uh to the baby like this i thought this was a good idea to like keep it in her book bag um so that when we go places and she just starts acting a little fussy or if it's not time for her to eat yet and she just wants a little something we can give her this so this one is the apple mango brown rice and vanilla and this one is a carrot sweet potato corn pea and chicken they sound delicious so i'm going to keep these in the little caddy bag or in her um in her book bag and these are these last um the expiration date is like a year away so that's pretty good i mean she'll definitely eat it way before then also got her a couple more of the chicken baby foods and uh turkey because i'm going to start putting uh, some of this with her uh vegetables so she's been doing really good with her vegetables i've been putting like whole wheat cereal in it and sometimes i do multi-grain cereal and she really likes it so i think you know introducing meats she had meat for the first time on thanksgiving she ate turkey and she, you know she, you know she likes it but um let me see i bought myself some socks also because i need more socks and i got some fuzzy socks 
for when I'm just gonna lounge around the house and the, you know, we have wooden floors, so they're pretty cold. And I, the day I wanna stay in my pajamas, I'm gonna wear these. So that's pretty cool. I picked up another toner that I use because mine um, is running out. I just have like this much left. So the one I use is Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. It has no alcohol. It doesn't irritate my skin and I like it. It works, so I keep using it. I also picked up some Lumify eye drops. Um, when I start cleaning around the house, my eyes get red because I suffer from like allergies to dust and stuff like that. That's why I don't have a broom in my house. I only use Swifters, Swiffers. And every time I go to like places like Ross, I every time I walk out, like I'm so irritated. My eyes are so red and stuff like that. So I bought this to keep it in my purse so when I get irritated, I can put some eye drops. These really do a good job of um, getting rid of the redness, but these are kind of expensive. Uh, this is a 0.25 fluid ounce and this was uh, $20. So just, just letting you know. I also bought some Moltrin because I needed some ibuprofen. I've been getting headaches and yeah, that time of the month is almost here. So I need this <laughs> and yeah. I got the um, the pacifiers. I got her a pack for the car, and I also got backups because we can never. We always well. She kind of drops her passies, you know, everywhere. So sometimes we can't find them. So that's what I picked up. And let me see. Oh, I'm sure you don't want to know, but we got some potato chips. The dill pickle ones are really good. Uh, these kind of taste like salt and vinegar. So if you like salt and vinegar. The dill pickle is not um, far from that flavor. I also picked up this one. It's like lime. So I wanted to try it. I've never tried it. I don't know if it's good, but sometimes I crave something crunchy. And I got this. Somebody already dipped into this. So that's it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this away. And I have to start editing my video for that goes up tonight. So I will see you all very soon. I forgot to mention that at Walmart, I got our pictures printed out. Allison met Santa for her first Christmas. So I was really excited about that. And she's wearing her little uh, red velvet Christmas dress. So this was um, like the moment right before she started screaming and crying because she got scared but I'm glad at least we captured this moment and I have the picture on the pretty little frame and it's right here on my mantle.